morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the UMBC Coaches Corner. I'm Dan LaHat. I'm joined by head track and field coach, Coach David Bob. Coach, pretty successful start of the year this year. Continued last week up in New York at the Gotham Cup. Some more record-setting performances, school-wide, personal bests. What was your assessment of that meet up in uh, New York City? There was a lot of good performances. Uh, Trey Proctor had probably one of the best performances, actually the best performance of his career. He finally broke the eight-second barrier, and that's huge for a hurdler. He ran 7.89, and I know Coach Flowers has been working with him very well. And it was unfortunate that Coach Flowers wasn't there to see that, but hopefully he gets to see that this weekend when we go down to the Turf and Invitational. Uh, Denise Phillips had a break for me. Mercedes Jackson continues to uh, run well. Paulette Fogel, uh, Kirsten Jones throws it well. Shoma Omiyata, he did well also. Uh, Sarah Daly, Cody Mesovich, uh, the new kid Noah Hutton. So there's a lot of kids that did well for us. That was a huge meet. Looking through the results there, just tens and hundreds of teams it seemed like. Mm -hmm. What's it like competing in that kind of atmosphere with all those teams, all those bodies around where they're just shuffling people into the competitions? It was a long meet. Sometimes it, it gets a little overwhelming and um, sometimes it's unfortunate for the kids to compete later on. I know some of our distance runners didn't compete till late that night, but they still had a good solid race. So just keeping the emotional highs and lows as a coach up there uh, consistent and getting them ready for a conference meet is, is what our main goal was and kids did well, and we continue to hopefully try to make sure that we go in the right direction and up to our conference championship. Now this week, a little bit closer to home, mm -hmm. just outside of D.C. and Landover for the Terrapin Invitational. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the motivation here? Another meet, a little closer to home. Hopefully pe people and parents are there to mm -hmm. see the athletes compete. Yeah, that's actually that's the main focus of this meet is because we spend a lot of time in New York and Boston, and occasionally we go to Penn State too, so this is a, a great venue for our students, our student athletes to compete in front of their parents, their, their, their brothers and sisters, their grandmas and grandpas, so that they don't have to go far. Plus, a lot of these kids are familiar with the facility also. They ran track there in high school. This is where they would have that, the Maryland State uh, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A championships, and also I think the, the private schools have their championships there also. So it's a good venue. Um, I love it that it's only half an hour away from campus. So it's not too much travel, and I think we'll have a good meet there also. What type of advantages does that give the athletes that they've competed at this facility before? Well, they're, they're familiar with it, uh, and they know where to warm up, how to warm up, uh, the, 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 well, pretty much where where to attack and where they, they feel comfortable on the track. So it's, it's good to have that knowledge of the facility, but they have knowledge of other facilities also. As you heard from Coach Bob, the Retrievers will compete just outside of D.C. and Landover this weekend, right next to FedEx Field. Go Redskins! For the, for the Terrapin Invitational. For the Coach's Corner, I'm Dan LaHaffey.